Let's take a moment to quiet ourselves before we surrender our worries. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths, feeling your body relax from head to toe. Imagine tension melting away with each exhale. Now, focus on your natural breath. There's no need to force it, just let it flow freely. As you breathe, feel yourself becoming centered and present. With each inhale, breathe in God's peace and presence. With each exhale, release any anxieties that may be weighing on you. Now, nestled in God's love, let's begin our prayer together. Psalm 1 verses 1 to 6. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither. In all that he does, he prospers. The wicked are not so, but are like chaff that the wind drives away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. Psalm 107 verse 20 He sent out his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destruction. Psalm 91 verses 1 to 16 He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Psalm 34 verse 4 I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Proverbs 3 verse 24 If you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Psalm 55 verses 22 to 23 Cast your burden on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. But you, O oh God, will cast them down into the pit of destruction. Men of blood and treachery shall not live out half their days. But I will trust in you. Psalm 23 verses 1 to 6 a psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Isaiah 54 verse 17 No weapon that is fashioned against you shall succeed and you shall refute every tongue that rises against you in judgment. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their vindication from me, declares the Lord. 
Psalm 121 verses 2 to 8. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. Psalm 103 verses 1 to 22 of David. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Psalm 51 verses 1 to 19 to the choir master, a psalm of David, when Nathan the prophet went to him, after he had gone into Bathsheba, have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love, according to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you may be justified in your words and blameless in your judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. 2 Thessalonians 1 verse 7 And to grant relief to you who are afflicted as well as to us, when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. 1 Corinthians 13 verses 1 to 13 If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give away all I have, and if I deliver up my body to be burned, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. Psalm 121 verses 1 to 8 A Song of Ascents I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. Psalm 27 verses 1 to 2 of David. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers assail me to eat up my flesh, my adversaries and foes, it is they who stumble and fall. Psalm 23 verse 1 A Psalm of David The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. 
Psalm 16 verses 9 to 11. Therefore my heart is glad, and my whole being rejoices. My flesh also dwells secure. For you will not abandon my soul to Sheol, or let your Holy One see corruption. You make known to me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Romans 12 verse 2 Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Psalm 71 verse 3 Be to me a rock of refuge, to which I may continually come. You have given the command to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Matthew 6 verse 9 Pray then like this, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Isaiah 40 verse 8 The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. Proverbs 10 verse 9 Whoever walks in integrity walks securely, but he who makes his ways crooked will be found out. Psalm 133 verses 1 to 3 A Song of Ascents of David Behold, how good and pleasant it is when brothers dwell in unity. It is like the precious oil on the head, running down on the beard, on the beard of Aaron, running down on the collar of his robes. It is like the dew of Hermon, which falls on the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord has commanded the blessing, life forevermore. Psalm 119 verse 105 your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Psalm 119 verse 11 I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Psalm 103 verses 1 to 5 Of David Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Psalm 83 verses 1 to 18 A Song A Psalm of Vaza O oh God, do not keep silence. Do not hold your peace or be still, O oh God. For behold, your enemies make an uproar. Those who hate you have raised their heads. They lay crafty plans against your people. They consult together against your treasured ones. They say, come, let us wipe them out as a nation. Let the name of Israel be remembered no more. For they conspire with one accord. Against you they make a covenant. Psalm 68 verses 1 to 35 To the choir master A psalm of David A song God shall arise 
His enemies shall be scattered, and those who hate him shall flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so you shall drive them away, as wax melts before fire, so the wicked shall perish before God. But the righteous shall be glad, they shall exult before God, they shall be jubilant with joy. Sing to God, sing praises to his name. Lift up a song to him who rides through the deserts. His name is the Lord, exult before him. Father of the fatherless and protector of widows is God in his holy habitation. 1 John 4 verse 18 There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not been perfected in love. Romans 1 verses 1 to 32 Paul, a servant of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle, set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised beforehand through his prophets in the holy scriptures concerning his son, who was descended from David according to the flesh and was declared to be the son of God in power according to the spirit of holiness by his resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ our Lord through whom we have received grace and apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith for the sake of his name among all the nations. John 14 verse 6 Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Proverbs 1 verses 1 to 33. The Proverbs of Solomon, son of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom and instruction, to understand words of insight, to receive instruction in wise dealing, in righteousness, justice, and equity, to give prudence to the simple, knowledge and discretion to the youth, let the wise hear and increase in learning, and the one who understands obtain guidance. Psalm 148 verse 8 Fire and hail, snow and mist, stormy wind fulfilling his word. Psalm 140 verses 1 to 13 to the choir master, a psalm of David. Deliver me, O Lord, from evil men. Preserve me from violent men who plan evil things in their heart and stir up wars continually. They make their tongues sharp as a serpent's and under their lips is the venom of asps. Selah guard me, O Lord from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from violent men who have planned to trip up my feet. The arrogant have hidden a trap for me and with cords they've spread a net. Beside the way they have set snares for me. Psalm 118 verse 18. The Lord has disciplined me severely but he has not given me over to death. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 5 We destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God and take every thought captive to obey Christ. 1 Corinthians 2 verses 1 to 16 and I, when I came to you, brothers, did not come proclaiming to you the testimony of God with lofty speech or wisdom. For I decided to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. 
And I was with you in weakness and in fear and much trembling. And my speech and my message were not in plausible words of wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power, so that your faith might not rest in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. John 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Psalm 139 verses 13 to 16 For you formed my inward parts, you knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, my soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed substance. In your book were written, every one of them, the days that were formed for me when as yet there was none of them. Psalm 91 verse 11 For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. Jude 1 verse 6 And the angels who did not stay within their own position of authority, but left their proper dwelling, he is kept in eternal chains under gloomy darkness until the judgment of the great day. John 10 verse 35 If he called them gods to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be broken. Matthew 4 verse 4 But he answered, it is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Jeremiah 1 verse 5 Before I formed you in the womb I knew you, and before you were born I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. Isaiah 8 verse 20 To the teaching and to the testimony, if they will not speak according to this word, it is because they have no dawn. Psalm 34 verse 9 Oh, fear the Lord, you as saints, for those who fear him have no lack. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths. Psalm 121 verses 1 to 2 A song of ascents. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Psalm 37 verse 8 Refrain from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not yourself, it tends only to evil. Psalm 37 verses 1 to 40 of David, fret not yourself because of evildoers, be not envious of wrongdoers, for they will soon fade like the grass and wither like the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good, dwell in the land and befriend faithfulness. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him, and he will act. 
Psalm 30 verses 1 to 12. A Psalm of David. A song at the dedication of the temple. I will extol you, O Lord, for you have drawn me up and have not let my foes rejoice over me. O Lord my God, I cried to you for help and you have healed me. O Lord, you have brought up my soul from Sheol. You restored me to life from among those who go down to the pit. Sing praises to the Lord, O you his saints, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger is but for a moment, and his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may tarry for the night, but joy comes with the morning. Psalm 26 verse 4 I do not sit with men of falsehood, nor do I consort with hypocrites. Psalm 24 verse 7 Lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Psalm 23 verse 4 even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Psalm 22 verses 1 to 31. To the choir master, according to the doe of the dawn, a psalm of David, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me from the words of my groaning? Oh my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but I find no rest. Yet you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. In you our fathers trusted, they trusted, and you delivered them. To you they cried and were rescued. In you they trusted and were not put to shame. Psalm 20 verses 1 to 9. To the choir master. A psalm of David. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and give you support from Zion. May he remember all your offerings and regard with favor your burnt sacrifices. Selah, may he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill all your plans. May we shout for joy over your salvation and in the name of our God set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions Psalm 9 verses 1 to 20 To the choir master, according to Muflavin, a psalm of David. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. I will recount all of your wonderful deeds. I will be glad and exult in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. When my enemies turn back, they stumble and perish before your presence. For you have maintained my just cause. You have sat on the throne, giving righteous judgment. You have rebuked the nations. You have made the wicked perish. You have blotted out their name forever and ever. Psalm 2 verses 1 to 12. Why do the nations rage and the peoples plot in vain? The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us burst their bonds apart and cast away their cords from us. He who sits in the heavens laughs, the Lord holds them in derision. Then he will speak to them in his wrath and terrify them in his fury, saying, Revelation 11 verses 1 to 19 
Then I was given a measuring rod like a staff, and I was told, Rise and measure the temple of God and the altar and those who worship there, but do not measure the court outside the temple. Leave that out, for it is given over to the nations, and they will trample the holy city for forty-two months. And I will grant authority to my two witnesses, and they will prophesy for 1,260 days, clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of the earth. And if anyone would harm them, fire pours from their mouth and consumes their foes. If anyone would harm them, this is how he is doomed to be killed. 1 Peter 1 verse 12 It was revealed to them that they were serving not themselves, but you, in the things that have now been announced to you through those who preach the good news to you by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven, things into which angels long to look. James 1 verse 27 Religion that is pure and undefiled before God the Father is this, to visit orphans and widows in their affliction, and to keep oneself unstained from the world. Ephesians 3 verse 10 so that through the church the manifold wisdom of God might now be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly places. Romans 8 verses 38 to 39 For I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. John 14 verse 27 Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. Isaiah 40 verse 22 It is he who sits above the circle of the earth, and its inhabitants are like brash hoppers, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain, and spread them like a tent to dwell in. Psalm 137 verses 1 to 9 by the waters of Babylon, there we sat down and wept when we remembered Zion. On the willows there we hung up our lyres, for there are captors required of us songs, and our tormentors mirth, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a foreign land? If I forget you, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget its skill. Psalm 119 verses 1 to 176 Blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with their whole heart, who also do no wrong, but walk in his ways. You have commanded your precepts to be kept diligently. Oh, that my ways may be steadfast in keeping your statutes. Psalm 50 verses 1 to 23 A Psalm of Baza The Mighty One, God the Lord, speaks and summons the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God shines forth. Our God comes, he does not keep silence. Before him is a devouring fire, 
around him a mighty tempest. He calls to the heavens above and to the earth that he may judge his people. Gather to me my faithful ones who made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Psalm 46 verse 1 To the choir master of the sons of Korah according to al a song. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Psalm 46 verses 1 to 11 To the choir master of the sons of Korah, according to al a song. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling. Selah there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, she shall not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. Psalm 37 verse 4 Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Psalm 29 verses 1 to 11 A Psalm of David Ascribe to the Lord, O heavenly beings, Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in the splendor of holiness. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord over many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. Psalm 27 verses 1 to 14 of David. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers assail me to eat up my flesh, my adversaries and foes, it is they who stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war arise against me, yet I will be confident. One thing have I asked of the Lord, that will I seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For he will hide me in his shelter in the day of trouble. He will conceal me under the cover of his tent. He will lift me high upon a rock. Psalm 24 verses 1 to 10. A Psalm of David. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? And who shall stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart who does not lift up his soul to what is false and does not swear deceitfully. He will receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Psalm 19 verses 1 to 14 To the choir master A Psalm of David The heavens declare the glory of God and the sky above proclaims his handiwork. Day to day pours out speech, and night to night reveals knowledge. There is no speech, 
nor are there words whose voice is not heard. Their voice goes out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them he has set a tent for the sun, which comes out like a bridegroom leaving his chamber, and, like a strong man, runs its course with joy. Psalm 18 verses 1 to 50 To the choir master A psalm of David, the servant of the Lord, who addressed the words of this song to the Lord on the day when the Lord delivered him from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of Saul. He said, I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised, and I am saved from my enemies. The cords of death encompass me. The torrents of destruction assailed me. The cords of Sheol entangled me. The snares of death confronted me. Psalm 16 verses 1 to 11. A victim of David. Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. I have no good apart from you. As for the saints in the land, they are the excellent ones, in whom is all my delight. The sorrows of those who run after another god shall multiply. Their drink offerings of blood I will not pour out or take their names on my lips. The Lord is my chosen portion and my cup. You hold my lot. Psalm 15 verses 1 to 5 A Psalm of David O Lord, who shall sojourn in your tent? Who shall dwell on your holy hill? He who walks blamelessly and does what is right and speaks truth in his heart, who does not slander with his tongue and does no evil to his neighbor, nor takes up a reproach against his friend, in whose eyes a vile person is despised, but who honors those who fear the Lord, who swears to his own hurt and does not change, who does not put out his money at interest and does not take a bribe against the innocent. He who does these things shall never be moved. Psalm 11 verses 1 to 7 to the choir master of David. In the Lord I take refuge. How can you say to my soul, flee like a bird to your mountain? For behold, the wicked bend the bow. They have fitted their arrow to the string to shoot in the dark at the upright in heart. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple the Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes see, his eyelids test the children of man. The Lord tests the righteous, but his soul hates the wicked and the one who loves violence. Psalm 1, 150, 6. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither. In all that he does, he prospers. The wicked are not so, but are like chaff that the wind drives away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, 
nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. Psalm 1 colon 1 dash 41 colon 13. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither. In all that he does, he prospers. The wicked are not so, but are like chaff that the wind drives away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. Colossians 3 verse 16 Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. Colossians 3 verse 15 And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. Colossians 2 verses 1 to 23 For I want you to know how great a struggle I have for you, and for those at Laodicea, and for all who have not seen me face to face, that their hearts may be encouraged, being knit together in love to reach all the riches of full assurance of understanding and the knowledge of God's mystery, which is Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. I say this in order that no one may delude you with plausible arguments. For though I am absent in body, yet I am with you in spirit, rejoicing to see your good order and the firmness of your faith in Christ. Colossians 1 verses 1 to 29 Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Timothy our brother, to the saints and faithful brothers in Christ at Colossae, grace to you and peace from God our Father. We always thank God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you, since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love that you have for all the saints, because of the hope laid up for you in heaven. Of this you have heard before in the word of the truth, the gospel. Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Philippians 4 verse 7 And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7 do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4 verse 6 do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to God. Romans 8 verse 28 And we know that for those who love God all things work together for good, for those who are called according to His purpose. Acts 1 verse 20 For it is written in the book of Psalms, 
May his camp become desolate, and let there be no one to dwell in it, and let another take his office. John 14 verse 23 Jesus answered him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. John 3 verses 16 to 17 For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Matthew 11 verses 28 to 30. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Isaiah 41 verse 10 Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Proverbs 3 verse 11 My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline or be weary of his reproof. Psalm 139 verse 6 Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain it. Psalm 139 verse 1 To the choir master A Psalm of David O oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. Psalm 128 verses 1 to 6 A Song of Ascents Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. You shall eat the fruit of the labor of your hands. You shall be blessed, and it shall be well with you. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your children will be like olive shoots around your table. Behold, thus shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. 1 Chronicles 16 verse 11 Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his presence continually. 1 John 1 verse 9 If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 3 verse 22 And whatever we ask we receive from him because we keep his commandments and do what pleases him. 1 John 5 verses 14 to 15 And this is the confidence that we have toward him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we know that we have the requests that we have asked of him. 1 John 5 verse 14 and this is the confidence that we have toward him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. 1 John 5 verse 15 And if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we know that we have the requests that we have asked of him. 
1 John 5 verse 16. If anyone sees his brother committing a sin not leading to death, he shall ask, and God will give him life to those who commit sins that do not lead to death. There is sin that leads to death. I do not say that one should pray for that. 1 Kings 20 verse 5 The messengers came again and said, Thus says Ben-Hadad, I sent to you, saying, Deliver to me your silver and your gold, your wives and your children. 1 Peter 3 verse 7 Likewise, husbands, live with your wives in an understanding way, showing honor to the woman as the weaker vessel, since they are heirs with you of the grace of life, so that your prayers may not be hindered. 1 Peter 3 verse 12 for the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their prayer. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. 1 Peter 4 verse 3 For the time that is past suffices for doing what the Gentiles want to do, living in sensuality, passions, drunkenness, orgies, drinking parties, and lawless idolatry. 1 Peter 4 verse 7 The end of all things is at hand. Therefore be self-controlled and sober-minded for the sake of your prayers. 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 16 to 18 Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 17 Pray without ceasing. 1 Timothy 2 verses 1 to 2 First of all, then, I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings be made for all people, for kings and all who are in high positions, that we may lead a peaceful and quiet life, godly and dignified in every way. 1 Timothy 2 verses 1 to 4 First of all, then, I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings be made for all people, for kings and all who are in high positions, that we may lead a peaceful and quiet life, godly and dignified in every way. This is good, and it is pleasing in the sight of God our Savior, who desires all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. 1 Timothy 2 verse 5 For there is one God, and there is one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. 1 Timothy 2 verse 8 I desire then that in every place the men should pray, lifting holy hands without anger or quarreling. 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14 If my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Acts 1 verse 14 All these with one accord were devoting themselves to prayer, together with the women and Mary the mother of Jesus and his brothers.
Acts 2 colon 1 dash 21 colon 40. When the day of Pentecost arrived, they were all together in one place. And suddenly there came from heaven a sound like a mighty rushing wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. And divided tongues as of fire appeared to them and rested on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Now there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devout men from every nation under heaven. Acts 2 verse 42 And they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and the fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. Acts 4 verse 31 and when they had prayed, the place in which they were gathered together was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and continued to speak the word of God with boldness. Acts 12 verse 5 So Peter was kept in prison, but earnest prayer for him was made to God by the church. Acts 16 colon 1 dash 25 colon 27 Paul came also to Derb and to Lystra. A disciple was there named Timothy, the son of a Jewish woman who was a believer, but his father was a Greek. He was well spoken of by the brothers at Lystra and Iconium. Paul wanted Timothy to accompany him and he took him and circumcised him because of the Jews who were in those places, for they all knew that his father was a Greek. As they went on their way through the cities, they delivered to them for observance the decisions that had been reached by the apostles and elders who were in Jerusalem. So the churches were strengthened in the faith, and they increased in numbers daily. Acts 16 verse 25 About midnight Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. Colossians 4 verse 2 Continue steadfastly in prayer, being watchful in it with thanksgiving. Ephesians 1 verse 18 Having the eyes of your hearts enlightened, that you may know what is the hope to which he has called you, what are the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints. Ephesians 6 verse 18 Praying at all times in the Spirit, with all prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert with all perseverance, making supplication for all the saints. Ezra 8 verse 23 So we fasted and implored our God for this, and he listened to our entreaty. Hebrews 4 verse 16 let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Hebrews 5 verse 7 In the days of his flesh, Jesus offered up prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to him who was able to save him from death and he was heard because of his reverence. James 1 verse 6 But let him ask in faith with no doubting, for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind. James 4 verse 2 
You desire and do not have, so you murder. You covet and cannot obtain, so you fight and quarrel. You do not have because you do not ask. James 4 verse 3 You ask and do not receive because you ask wrongly to spend it on your passions. James 5 verse 13 Is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Is anyone cheerful? Let him sing praise. James 5 verses 14 to 15 Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. James 5 verse 14 Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. James 5 verse 16 Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another, that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. Jeremiah 29 verse 12 Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me, and I will hear you. Jeremiah 33 verse 3 Call to me and I will answer you and will tell you great and hidden things that you have not known. Job 22 verse 27 You will make your prayer to him, and he will hear you, and you will pay your vows. Job 42 verse 10 And the Lord restored the fortunes of Job, when he had prayed for his friends. And the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. John 9 verse 31 We know that God does not listen to sinners, but if anyone is a worshiper of God and does his will, God listens to him. John 14 verse 13 Whatever you ask in my name, this I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. John 15 colon 1 16 colon 33 I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit he takes away, and every branch that does bear fruit he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. Already you are clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself, unless it abides in the vine, neither can you, unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit, for apart from me you can do nothing. John 15 verse 7 If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. John 15 verse 16 you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should abide, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. 
John 17 verse 15. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. Luke 6 verse 12. In these days he went out to the mountain to pray, and all night he continued in prayer to God. Luke 6 verses 27 to 28. But I say to you who hear, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. Luke 9 verses 16 to 17. And taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and said a blessing over them. Then he broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples to set before the crowd. And they all ate and were satisfied. And what was left over was picked up, twelve baskets of broken pieces. Luke 11 verse 1 now Jesus was praying in a certain place, and when he finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John taught his disciples. Luke 11 verse 9 And I tell you, ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be open to you. Luke 18 verse 1 And he told them a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not lose heart. Mark 1 verse 35 And rising very early in the morning, while it was still dark, he departed and went out to a desolate place, and there he prayed. Mark 11 verse 2 And said to them, Go into the village in front of you, and immediately as you enter it you will find a colt tied, on which no one has ever sat. Untie it and bring it. Mark 11 verse 24 Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Mark 11 verse 25 And whenever you stand praying, forgive, if you have anything against anyone, so that your Father also who is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. Matthew 5 verse 44 But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Matthew 6 colon 1 dash 13 colon 58 Beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them, for then you will have no reward from your Father who is in heaven. Thus, when you give to the needy, sound no trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may be praised by others. Truly, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And when you pray, you must not be like the hypocrites. For they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, that they may be seen by others. Truly, I say to you, they have received their reward. Matthew 6 verses 1 to 34 Beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them, 
For then you will have no reward from your Father who is in heaven. Thus, when you give to the needy, sound no trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may be praised by others. Truly, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And when you pray, you must not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, that they may be seen by others. Truly, I say to you, they have received their reward. Matthew 6 verses 5 to 8 And when you pray, you must not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, that they may be seen by others. Truly, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, Go into your room and shut the door and pray to your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard for their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. Matthew 6 verse 6 But when you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Matthew 6 verse 7 And when you pray, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard for their many words. Matthew 6 verses 9 to 10 Pray then like this, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Matthew 6 verses 9 to 13 Pray then like this, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Matthew 6 verse 9 Pray then like this, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Matthew 7 verse 7 Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. Matthew 7 verse 11 if you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask Him? Matthew 18 verses 19 to 20 Again I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I among them. Matthew 18 verse 20 For where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I among them. Matthew 21 verses 22 to 23 And whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive if you have faith. And when he entered the temple, 
the chief priests and the elders of the people came up to him as he was teaching and said, By what authority are you doing these things? And who gave you this authority? Matthew 21 verse 22 And whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive if you have faith. Matthew 26 verse 41 Watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Philippians 4 verse 3 Yes, I ask you also, true companion, help these women who have labored side by side with me in the gospel together with Clement and the rest of my fellow workers, whose names are in the book of life. Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4 verse 6 Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to God. Proverbs 15 verse 8 The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but the prayer of the upright is acceptable to him. Proverbs 15 verse 29 The Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayer of the righteous. Psalm 4 verse 1 to the choir master with stringed instruments a psalm of david answer me when i call o god of my righteousness you have given me relief when i was in distress be gracious to me and hear my prayer psalm 5 verse 3 o lord in the morning you hear my voice in the morning I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. Psalm 10 colon 1 dash 12 colon 8 Why, O Lord, do you stand far away? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? In arrogance the wicked hotly pursue the poor. Let them be caught in the schemes that they have devised. For the wicked boasts of the desires of his soul, and the one greedy for gain curses and renounces the Lord. In the pride of his face the wicked does not seek him. All his thoughts are, there is no God. His ways prosper at all times. Your judgments are on high, out of his sight. As for all his foes, he puffs at them. Psalm 17 verse 6 I call upon you, for you will answer me. O God, incline your ear to me. Hear my words. Psalm 18 verse 6 In my distress I called upon the Lord. To my God I cried for help. From his temple he heard my voice and my cry to him reached his ears. Psalm 19 verse 14 Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Psalm 34 verse 17 When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. 
Psalm 39 verse 12. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear to my cry. Hold not your peace at my tears. For I am a sojourner with you, a guest, like all my fathers. Psalm 42, 1-48-14 To the choir master, a masculine of the sons of Korah, as a deer pants for flowing streams, so pants my soul for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? My tears have been my food day and night, while they say to me all the day long, Where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul, how I would go with the throng and lead them in procession to the house of God with glad shouts and songs of praise, a multitude-keeping festival. Why are you cast down, O oh my soul, and why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my salvation. Psalm 66, verse 17. I cried to him with my mouth, and high praise was on my tongue. Psalm 66, verse 18. If I had cherished iniquity in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. Psalm 102, verse 17. He regards the prayer of the destitute and does not despise their prayer. Psalm 118, verse 5. Out of my distress I called on the Lord. The Lord answered me and set me free. Psalm 141, verse 2. Let my prayer be counted as incense before you, and the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Psalm 143, verses 1 to 3. A Psalm of David. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my pleas for mercy. In your faithfulness answer me, in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for no one living is righteous before you. For the enemy has pursued my soul. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me sit in darkness like those long dead. Psalm 145, verse 18. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. Romans 8, verse 26. Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. For we do not know what to pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. Romans 12, verses 1 to 21. I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. For by the grace given to me I say to everyone among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. For as in one body we have many members, and the members do not all have the same function, so we, though many, are one body in Christ, and individually members one of another. 
Romans 12 verse 12 Rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer.